By the way, a dog that's really good at playing dead is also really good at being calm. One and two go together. A dog that's really good at being calm can calm down when they're in the presence of other dogs. One and three go together. So if I really work on dead dog a lot, I might be able to help my dog with reactivity. <laughs> little, little thing to think about. But anyway. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Martin Wright and I'm back again with another video for you about playing dead with your dog. Of course, you remember the last video. If you don't remember, please click the link and you'll be able to see it. But um, of Sandy learning how to play dead for the first time, her owners took her home, practiced with her a bunch, and now they're back for another video. So let's see where she's at. Excellent. Yeah, I see. I see, that's good. Do it one more time. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Let's see it one more time. Um, as you're bringing your hand around, try to bring it around slower. Slower? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see, I see the back legs, but I also see that her front paw is always on your wrist. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? So, so we know it's gonna happen. Try to slip out. Try to make it so that way she doesn't land on your wrist when she uses her front paw. Oh, okay. That's good, let's do it one more time. Okay. Yeah, she mistakes with, with spin. With spin, right? <laughs> but your hand is not going down first. Right, it should go down and then around. Now she landed on your leg instead of on your, all right. My turn, all right? So I'm seeing, thank you, good girl. Um, let's go. I wanna see this and then this. Right? That's what I want to see. I want to see this and then this. Good. All right. right? Your turn. Yep. <laughs> yep, good, good job. Good job. Excellent. Excellent, that's real good. Let's do, yeah, let's do that one more time. Down. There, good. All right, that is not bad. That is way better. We wanna get her to be more stable, more relaxed. Um, can I get the turn? Excellent. What happens? Good. What happens if, um, if we go way slower? Yes. Yes. What happens if we go slower? Um, her front, this part is really active, right? But that part slows down. Everything behind her muzzle seems to slow down if our hand goes slower, right? Yes, your turn. <laughs> 
No, that was too fast. Too fast. Mm-hmm. Mm. Everything really slowed. That's better. Yep. Good. Good. That's not bad. Excellent. Um, all right, so your hand is making the shape, but you're allowing her to con to decide where your hand makes the shape, right? Yeah. Um, I want you to try to stay where you want to be. Okay. Try it one more time, then I'll, I'll kind of, yeah. You want to be like, if you want the treat, you have to follow the treat. I'm not going to follow you. Close to the shoulders and down to the ground. That wasn't bad. Close to the shoulders, down. Yeah, we have to get back to those shoulders. Shoulder, 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 there, and then down. All right, she caught you. Good. That's not bad. Excellent, my turn. That's real good. So when I say close to the shoulders, what I'm talking about is right there. That's where we want to aim our treat. I'll spin her to put her in position. Right, so she's here. I go straight down. I want this to be slow. And then I'm going here. And then from here, I could go there. Once she rocks. Yes. Once she rocks shoulders. That time I didn't get it. Shoulders. So I'm just going over. She's not winning any rewards for this because none of this is what she wants. She's really excited about the food. None of this is what I want. She's really excited about the food. By not letting her, yes. By not letting her get the food or win the food, I'm also gonna dampen some of the excitement because, um, because she's gonna be like, I'm not gonna get it anyway. So, you know, she's gonna start to feel a little bit of that, which is what I want really slow and now it's important that we start to use our marker word yes here so that way when we see the behavior we want yes we can mark it right um so that way she starts to know what it is that we're looking for yes right I'm not trying to mark the perfect behavior. That's a mistake that a lot of trainers make is that they wait until it is perfect before they mark it. I want to mark a behavior that's on the path to perfect and not a behavior that is um and not a behavior that's off that path. Right? So that was that was really good. She got up before I could say yes, so I just don't give it to her. Yes. Right, so we're running on that line of how long can she stay before she hears it. What's gonna start to happen is we're gonna hold longer and longer. We're concerned about her pawing and we're concerned about her leg being lifted. If, once she understands that she doesn't get the reward till she hears the word yes, then we could extend the amount of time between when she's laying down and when we say yes, and that will cause her, because because it's an extended amount of time, she can't keep her leg up in tense that whole time. So that's automatically gonna cause the leg to go down. We really don't have to dress the leg, we have to address the stillness of the body, right? Yes. Little bit late, right? Because she was coming up when I said yes. Your turn. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Good girl. The Ling Hu Jiao is um is here. We're doing another video on playing dead as you could clearly see but i've seen a lot of improvement with her one of the things that she's able to do now she's able to follow the hand and actually get down to the ground um and that took i'm sure some work from ling her owner but now we're just trying to shape it and to make it better to look for those little things and also 
to be able to start to make some kind of distance. So we could end up setting up a command where we could be across the room and she does it. All right, so that is uh, what, what's going on now. Slow, don't let her rush you. Don't let her rush you. Hold the treats nice and firm until you want to release them. You don't want to release before. Good, that's good. That's good. Let's see if we could get her so that way she's, her tail is at this end and her head is at that end when she's laying down. That's your target. So as you're going, if you see her moving in a way that she's gonna end up laying with her tail over here and her head over there, then just stop where you are, calmly reset and try to get it so that way her tail is over here and her head is down there. All right. Take your time. Yes. Good. Good movement of the wrist. That's good. Yes again, yes again. Yes. Excellent. And then now she could get up. Good, that's not bad. But you see where her tail is? You see where her head is? Yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's try it one more time. So, so really it's in the setup. If she's set up where she's facing you this way and you have her play dead, then her tail's gonna be that way. You kind of want to set her up so she's facing that way, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? That's good. Yes. Oh, that's getting nice. Yes. Good, 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 good. Excellent, that's real nice. You're almost there, you turned it. So, so it was here, now you're halfway in between. Um, so what I would do is when she's kneeling, when you're kneeling here, I would try to get her to move to here and then, and then kind of go that way with it. Let's see if you, if you got it here. Excellent. Yes. Move your hand a little further away. Ah, nice, nice. So as soon as you moved your hand further away and she didn't move, yes, <laughs> right? Because as soon as you move it, yeah, as soon as you move it further, it makes it harder. Right. Right. My turn. So. What I mean by setting her up, I want to set her kind of here if I can. You saw what I did? Uh -huh. So now her chest is facing that, her tail is this way. So now when I bring down, right, I bring down my treat. Yes. I dropped one. <laughs> but you see, see what I mean by that setup? Um, take your time through this. She wants to push the pace. She wants to treat now. As a matter of fact, she wanted it seconds ago, minutes ago, right? Um, our job is to slow the whole pace down, right? You'll get the treat when it's completed perfect, not perfectly, but you see what I'm saying. When, you, when you've completed the task is when you'll get the treat. And you won't get it a second before that. So you have to calm down, concentrate, think about what I want you to do, do it correctly. Yes. You do it correctly, and then you will hear yes, and then I will give you the treat. You're not gonna push my pace, <laughs> right? Your turn.
Yes. Excellent. All right. Now we're going to move on and we're going to try to do something different. So uh, can I can I grab this? Excellent. So um, what we need to also start thinking about now is that we want to be we want her to be there and then we just go and she she does it. Right. So now we have to start talking about making some space from her. Um, this could be tricky. And tell you the truth, I don't even have like a formula really in my head about how I'm gonna go about it. She's gonna determine some of that. Um, now, if we've been trying to get it so her tail is here and her nose is here, but as we're experimenting and figuring this out, if she ends up in a different position, but my hand is further from her the whole way through the routine, then that's gonna be the goal. Because once I get my hand further from her, then I could put my hand in different positions and keep it further from her. Um, so, there, right? And there, oh, I dropped one. <laughs> but you see how I'm trying not to get close, that close to her nose, right? Yeah. I want to be a little bit further. switch hands for this I don't know let's try this because because this hand is closer to her this hand is further away so being able to switch hands here might make it yes all right here we go so we go here I want to stay far She's gonna wanna come in. I go far again. Now I wanna go here, stay far. See, she's all the way over and then go here. Stay far, yes. Right, but you can see it's the same hand motion. I'm using the same hand motion. Hey, get that, get that, get that right here. Hey, right there. Good, you can see it's the same hand motion. It's just, I just I'm just making distance from it from her. Um, another cool thing to try, this might be a little early for this, is this. Yes, right? It might be time to start to work on that because the end goal is empty hand, <laughs> right? So we have to take all these little things away a little bit at a time, right? Good. Good. Yes. Your turn. <laughs> Start with the food, just try to make it so instead of her bumping you every second, like 10 times a second, the way she does, try to get it to like four times a second, <laughs> you know? Um, just a little bit less touching. Yes. That's the thing. 
That's the thing, that's beautiful. So now your hand will come down to the floor one more time. If she puts her head. Yes. Excellent. That's the thing. Let's just wait here, see what she does. Let's just wait. If she does it, you know what to do. We're trying to give her hints. <laughs> All right, help her. Yes. Let's just wait. Oh, that's good. Just wait. Just wait. And help her with your hand. Yes. Excellent. I don't want you to help her. I don't want you to use body language because if you start using, that's yes. Yes. If you start using body language, then you're going to have to, you're always going to be like, <laughs> right? I don't want you to have to do that. So just wait. Eventually she's going to do it. I'm sure of that. Yes. Right? And yeah, give it to her, give it to her. She was there. So let's stop here for a minute and talk a little bit again about markers, right? So a marker, a terminal bridge um, marks a behavior as it happens. Once that behavior has been marked, so as soon as she puts her head down and you say yes, anything she does after that is okay because she showed the behavior and you associated the word yes with that behavior. <laughs> right? Um, so if she does something else after that and she gets the reward, that is okay, especially when we're talking about trick training and things like that. Um, yes. Yeah, so she could lift her head after, and that is okay. All right? Excellent. Go ahead and I'll get her up again. All right. This is good. Now, we're gonna do one more with food, trying to be as far away from her as you can. Yes. Excellent. And then we're gonna get her up again, empty hand this time. Yes. Good girl. Excellent. That's yes again. So that wait time was probably 20 seconds, maybe the most 30 seconds. Whatever it was to Ling, it feels longer. It feels like it was like 10 minutes the dog is up there with their head up, but really it's a short amount of time. Even for me standing here, it feels longer. It's probably less than 20 seconds. I'm not sure, but it was probably less than 20 seconds from when she put her head up to where she put it down again. Um, so just don't worry about it take the time breathe focus on your breathing watch your dog and just wait and see you know be sure like a lot of the times i'll wait for over where i'm sure it's over a minute knowing that it feels longer to me in the moment as i'm sitting there all right so that's pretty good excellent um let's see get her up one more time excellent All right, good, good. Just go right into the next stage. Yes. Excellent. Excellent, that's good. All right, my turn. That's really good. I'm gonna use food for this next part. What we wanna start to do is we really wanna condition that there's a certain flip that we do over the head that ends with our hand on the ground. Really, it's when our hand gets to the ground that is what we want her to think of as a signal, right? When our hand gets down here, um, that's what we want her to think of as a signal. So I'm gonna try this from sitting. 
No, I'm gonna try it from down. I'm here with my treat, I go here. I might need a marker word here because my hand signal changed. If I do this, she's gonna do that, right? But because I wanna do less, I do this. Yes, so I need to mark that, right? Yes. 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 Excellent, doggy. That's very good. This is good. Check this out. Yes. 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 Your turn. Now, that time you marked yes when she put her shoulder down, but her head didn't hit. Oh. Right? That's okay. That's okay, though. Now, slide your hand across. When her head's up, slide your hand across like this and let her put her head down. Mark that yes. Yes. Excellent. Now her head might be up. Yes. Right. Now, this time, I don't want you to say yes as soon as she touches. Mm. I want you to let her touch, wait a second, then say yes. 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 Take your time. See how many times you're telling her to do it? Just tell her once and then wait, be patient. Yes. Excellent. Now, um, so Sandy knows no as a marker word, right? Just like how yes can be a marker word, no can be a marker word. There's a lot of trainers out there in the world who believe that you should never use the word no with your dog. To me, it is very important to be able to use the word no. So now what we're gonna start to do is if Sandy picks her head up when she shouldn't pick her head up, Link can say no and then give the signal again. Right? Even if it's after a yes, we're going to change things up a little bit now. This is just like, we don't do this all, I don't do this all the time, but at some point we have to start to say, no, we need you to stay there till I say, okay. So that way I can say yes and I can mark it. That's a good behavior. That's going to get your reward, but it won't be anytime soon. Stay in that behavior. <laughs> right? Um, so, so we have to be able to put that no in sometimes. And we're not going to do this very many times. Maybe if you're doing a, a session with your dog, you might do this one or two times. But most of the time, the dog is just doing it. But she already has a good understanding of the word no. She knows, she knows that no means what you're doing right here, right now, does not match my mental picture. This is not what I was thinking 
that you would be doing at this time. It doesn't mean she's a bad dog. It doesn't mean that we're going to return her to the shelter. It doesn't mean anything other than it doesn't mean I'm mad at you. I don't care, man, <laughs> you know, but it doesn't mean anything other than what you're doing right now is not what I thought you would be doing. When I asked for the pen, I did not mean the red pen. I meant the blue pen. So when you hand me the red pen, I go, no, not that pen. <laughs> right? Um, sit in the chair, not this chair, this chair. You go to sit in that chair? No, not that chair. It's the same thing with the dog. It clears it up, it reduces stress, and it makes everybody feel better. So, you got that? Mm -hmm. Excellent. When she lifts her head, I don't want you to say yes right away. I want you to give her the opportunity to lift her head before you've said yes. So that way you can say no and then this again. All right? Now say it. No. 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 Yeah, and give it to her. Excellent. So this is tricky. There's a little bit, there's no hard and fast rules, at least for me, for this kind of thing. Um, what I would try to do, Ling, if I was in your position for the next little time that you're practicing, is I would, once I say yes, I'll still give the treat because I know Sandy is going to pop her head up, <laughs> right? So I know she's gonna do that. So, so I would just wait and I would just let her pop her head up a few times, say no to those, make my signal for down, head down again, make my signal for dead dog again. And then when she holds it, then if I say, once I say yes, I'll allow it for now for her to pop her head up. Mm -hmm. There are many trainers in the world that use the word yes as a release word. Um, and, and they're world champions in, in obedience or in protection work, work, and they're really world champions. They're great trainers and there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. For me, I want a word that means I'm gonna reward you, but it's not okay for you to leave command. You know, um, that's just the way I do it. I'm not a world champion. I'm a pet dog trainer. I don't do competition stuff, but, but um, that's the way I would do it. Even if I was gonna train for a world championship dog, that's what I, the way I would do it. Even if I never won, I still do it my way because that's who I am. All right, let's try it one more time. Let's get her all the way up, all the way up. Oh. All the way up into a sit. Yes. That's good. Get her up into a sit again. Oh, that's good. Excellent. Excellent. That's really good. Now, if you look at Ling Hu Zhao here, um, you will see that in the beginning, she was very excited and she had all this energy trying to get all the treats all the time. And if you look at her now, I call this the sweet spot. She's actually in a, in a mental state where she could start to concentrate on what we're trying to have her do. The only way to get from that excited state of mind into the sweet spot is to take the time and just go through it. After the sweet spot comes the tired. My brain is tired, I can't do this anymore, <laughs> right? So that's coming soon. Um, so, yeah. Yes. Excellent. And you give her a okay, let her run around, play, yeah. tell some treats, do some stuff. Good job. Another thing is that we get tired too. So like watching this dog and, and working with this dog, I could feel it. You know, I could already feel like I'm getting tired. My brain is starting to be in the point where it's like, you need a break, Martin, and that's fine. Oh, what's this? What is this? Uh, what is it? Oh. Yes, this is better, isn't it?
when you see a lot of the times the problems that we have with the dog is related to their energy so we don't have to necessarily address every single problem sometimes sometimes we just have to address the dog's energy you know um and one of the best ways to address a dog's energy is to give them time time by itself a dog that's really excited cannot stay excited they cannot stay excited forever as a matter of fact they probably can't stay excited for unless they've been trained and conditioned to do that they probably can't stay excited for more than like 10 or 15 minutes <laughs> you know there's gonna be a low you know and that low will take care of little problems like oh when i'm practicing down she lifts her leg she looks really tight that's all energy you know and if we just wait longer before you get the treat that leg is gonna go you know she's gonna okay i have to wait longer she's gonna relax more okay so i don't know if she's ready for this but sandy is an amazing dog so she's ready for a lot more than we think she is hey let's go so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna take this and go here and go there yes look at that look at that let's do that again i'm gonna get her here and i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna go there yes Wow. <laughs> right let's get her again so the other thing we have to keep in mind is because we've done this like, I don't know, a hundred times, um, she's in the mode where she knows what all she needs to do to make us happy at this point is to get, end up in her, her side. You know, so now is a good time for me to say, I do this, you end up on your side, that's when you hear the yes. Good. Good. <laughs> she did it three times there and I could have marked that yes three times I'm being greedy one of my uh I don't know it's probably on this YouTube channel already but Heather Travis who was one of my first apprentices always told me Martin you're greedy and she's right she's right I always try to get more than maybe I should in the session um I don't know thank you Heather hey you paying attention you want to do this Yes. I don't want to work through it though. I want to be greedy. I want to get more out of it than I'm supposed to. I don't want to work through it, so. Yes. All right, your turn. So, you saw the move? Yeah. Excellent. Nothing in your hand. Yes. Yes. All right. That's really cool. All right, Ling, stand up, please. You can bend at your waist a little bit, but I don't want you to bend much um, when you're doing this. I want you to use that same hand signal. I want you to get her up into a sit or a stand position. I want you to use that same hand signal. Let's see what happens. What you're seeing here is Sandy's actually getting tired. Yes. Excellent. That was a lot of bending at the waist. Let's go a little bit more, less, right? I want you to be, try to be taller as you do it, right? Take your time, slow hand. Yes. There you go. There you go. Excellent. Just, just where you are, just do the standing, yep. Wait. Be patient. You could use your N.O. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> excellent. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. You could tell her why yes for that too. Yes. Excellent. Now let's see if you could get her up again. 
Excellent, straight. This time I don't want any bend in the waist, just the hand doing the thing, and that's enough. Yes. Excellent. Now, you guys got this pretty good here in this room with those lights and with Frank recording and with me here, <laughs> right? Um, so you got it pretty good. When you get home, it's a different situation. You might need to go all the way back through everything that we have done and build it back. But the quick, the good news is that she's already gonna have, you know, the path. Now, your mental picture is what's gonna ultimately lead out to where you get to with this. We're still doing this big old thing, you know? In time, you want to be, <laughs> you know, just dead. Right, so so you have to take all of that and subtract it all out and get it sideways like that And then we will um then next time we'll have a 30 second video where you go Sandy and she just goes And we're like yeah, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> and That'll be the end. All <laughs> right. All right That was a really big day. We got a lot of stuff done today. Sandy's made some extreme progress and I am confident that it will be just a matter of time before a small little signal gets her to play dead. By the way, a dog that's really good at playing dead is also really good at being calm. One and two go together. A dog that's really good at being calm can calm down when they're in the presence of other dogs. One and three go together. So if I really work on dead dog a lot, I might be able to help my dog with reactivity. Mm. Little, little thing to think about. But anyway, um, if you like what you see here today, then definitely subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Um, you know, leave a good review somewhere. Um, also check out the People's Wolf Podcast. That's my podcast with Katie. It's amazing. It is really cool. And it's only getting better day by day. Until next time, enjoy your day and enjoy your dog. I've done this with you. Here. I haven't done this with you in a while. Let's see if you can do it. Good. Dead. Yes! Good girl.